to explore, to observe, to understand the wider world we call the universe. This is one of the great human adventures. As we look out at the distant horizon, we may ask ourselves, what is our true place in the universe? We are all travelers on an unending voyage of discovery. More than 25 centuries ago, among the Greek islands, here at the vibrant crossroads of Africa, Asia, and Europe, philosophers began to devise rational theories about the world around them. The wondrous ways and forms of nature, they said, could be understood. One Greek thinker suggested that the Earth actually moved around the Sun. Another thought that everything, the work of man and nature, was made of particles too small to see. Others estimated the sizes of the Earth and the Moon and the distances between them and reasoned that both were spheres. But it would be many centuries before we had the tools to extend our vision and confirm the wisdom of these early thinkers. In the meantime, people around the world gazed on the stars and gave them names. Most assumed that the Earth was the center of an unchanging universe. Two thousand years passed before a revolutionary breakthrough was made by a mathematics professor in the ancient maritime republic of Venice. In 1609, Galileo Galilei demonstrated an instrument that would soon be called the telescope. From the tallest bell towers, he showed that this device could spot approaching ships hours before their sails were visible to the naked eye. Later, when he aimed his telescope at the night sky, Galileo discovered that the moon was a world with mountains. Jupiter had its own moons, and the Milky Way was a band of countless stars. Our own cosmic voyage begins here, in the center of Galileo's Venice, St. Mark's Square. Since the universe is a big place, we could easily get lost. So, we'll need signposts to give us a sense of scale. 
The acrobat's ring is one meter wide. The crowd is 10 times wider, 10 meters across, larger by one power of 10. Now, with every step, every ring, we travel 10 times farther from Venice, and our view of the universe is 10 times wider. The 100-meter ring surrounds St. Mark's, and 1,000 meters, one kilometer, the city center. As our speed increases, four steps, four powers of 10, reveal all the islands of Venice, the Adriatic Sea, and the mainland of northern Italy. Six steps take in Europe from central Germany across Italy to the Balkans. And soon we can see the entire planet, our home in space. Eight steps on our outward journey, eight powers of ten, and we pass the farthest reaches of human travel, the moon. visualize the path that the nine planets take in their orbits around the Sun. At 13 steps from St. Mark's Square, the entire solar system comes into view. And with 15 steps, 15 powers of 10, we can see that our sun is just another star. From here on, our void will be measured in light years, the distance light travels in an entire year. Only now do we fly past our nearest neighbor stars, almost five light years away. The same journey at the speed of today's spacecraft would last 100,000 years. As we cross the perpetual night, our voyage takes us up and out of our sun's neighborhood near the edge of a great pinwheel of stars. just one of the hundred billion stars in it. At this immense scale, 23 powers of 10, each shining light we see is not a star, but an entire galaxy composed of countless stars. Astronomers have discovered that the galaxies are flying away from one another. The universe is expanding. Our own galaxy and all the others form clusters and superclusters of stupendous size, hundreds of millions of light years across. And here, about 15 billion light years from Venice, we approach the outer limits of the visible universe. What lies beyond this cosmic horizon, we cannot see and do not know. 